All right, I guess it's going, and there it is. All right. There are two other chords that we didn't cover. The diminished or diminished seventh chord uh, and the augmented chord. And those two are used uh, in Dixieland. The good news is when usually when you have a C diminished, uh, it only is, goes for two beats, so you just have to use the name of the chord, but sometimes it goes for a whole measure. In the tune Undecided, there's, two, there's a uh, B diminished for two whole measures, okay? So you have to be able to accommodate the diminished chord if it lasts for more than two beats. Okay, so a diminished or a diminished seventh, as it's sometimes called, looks like this. Here's a C diminished, they'll put a circle there. This is a comma. Or they'll write C dim, like that. And all we have to do is flat the fifth. For instance, here's a C diminished, right? It would normally be C and count up five, C, D, E, F, G. It would normally be just C to G, but since it's diminished, you have to flat the fifth. That diminish the fifth, that's what they're saying. Here's A flat diminished, okay? Normally it's A flat to E flat, A, B, C, D, E, and of course you start with a flat, you end with a flat, but now we have to diminish this, so we have to put an E double flat, which is really just inharmonically a D note. So you have to take in that into account, okay? Now I'm going to do the augmented chord, and augmented chords, I love augmented triads, really, they're great. Augmented chords, augmented, I always look for them. And if they're only two beats, I often make them four, four beats because I just like to hear them. The augmented chord looks like this. It's C augmented. It's just C plus. Or sometimes they'll write C aug, A-U-G. Okay? And that's not bad. Here's a C augmented. I'll put a plus here. That make it look more better. Plus. Okay, it's normally C G to G, right? But you augment it. You raise it. C to G sharp. Okay? And let's say A flat again, I'll take A flat. A flat is normally A flat to E flat, right? A flat, and I'll put a comma there, E flat. But you have to augment the fifth, so you raise it, just like that. And there it is. Now, another piece of good news, besides the fact that these uh, diminished and augmented chords usually only go for... Um, two beats, so you only have to play the name and you don't have to be concerned about the fifth. The other nice thing is that if you accidentally um, lower the fifth instead of raise it on a C augmented, it'll still sound pretty good. Say, and the reverse is true. If you have a diminished chord and you raise the fifth accidentally um, on a diminished chord, it'll sound fine also. You can experiment on the piano and listen to that. So that's the only thing you have to, and these things come up. They come up about 5% of the time, I mean, I'm just making a guess, you know, you'll have a diminished chord, 5% of your chords will be a diminished or an augmented chord. And so that's how you handle them.